that's it. Easy peasy salad, and I feel like it's a crowd pleaser. Everyone loves it. What's up guys? Hey everyone, happy weekend. You got the whole family here today. <laughs> Chris, Finley's not been in the vlog in a while. Finn, do you wanna say hi to everyone? <laughs> you wanna say hi? He kinda needs a bath, you guys, but look at that cute little face. <laughs> he's been having so much fun this summer, you guys. He really has. We've been taking out on walks, he's been running, we've been throwing the tennis ball. The cutest thing he's been doing lately is around like five, six at night when the sun isn't as like intense, it hits our backyard and we have this little <laughs> deck with stairs and I'll let him out and he'll just go up and he just like sunbathes. He'll go and just lay <laughs> on the step and like roll and if the sun starts to move, he'll like go down to the next step. It yeah. is so stinky. He really, like literally right where the sunbeam is at, he'll go directly to that. Yeah, you're smart puppy. <laughs> so we've just had kind of a chill day today. We had a little at home church this morning, which was really fun. We played a little pickleball. Uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I destroyed Fred. That's why she's all talk about it. He really did. <laughs> Man, first golf, now pickleball. Like, what's my deal? <laughs> well, Hasn't been my week. One particular game, you guys, no joke. I told Brittany, I was just like, actually try. And it made me so mad. I'm like, I am trying, Jared. I thought she wasn't. I hate playing. it when people say that. It's like, try. It's like, I am trying. I'm just having an off game. <laughs> the one thing, though, about Britt, I do have to say this. She hates it when I talk a little smack because I get inside that little head. I get inside your head, too. <laughs> it's true. Today, I was like, Jared, just don't open your mouth. <laughs> Let's just play. She's like, no smack talk. And I was like, oh, that's part of the game, yeah. Britt, you know? Oh, that's how he wins. That's how he wins, honestly. <laughs> but it's fun. No, I'm. Of course, we're just teasing each other, you guys. But it's a lot of fun. My, no, the type of smack talk that I do to Brittany that she hates is that I will just say, "Oh, good job! Like you're doing so good. Keep it up." How annoying is that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Let me know in the comments if you would get frustrated as well if someone's talking to you like that. Yeah. What's the most That's annoying version of smack talk that you guys can think of? Jared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, moving on. We have some fun plans tonight, you guys. We are gonna be making dinner, we're gonna have family come over, then we're gonna go to the park to take this guy out for a walk. My sister Michelle and Nate, as many of you know, they are in New York, but they've been here since the whole COVID thing happened for the past few months, but they are going back next weekend, and so this is their last Sunday here, so we thought it'd be really fun to have them over for dinner, and I asked Michelle what sounded good, and she said spaghetti, and so we are making spaghetti, and it's been like forever since we've done a cooking vlog, so I'm kind of excited. I'm making a super easy spaghetti recipe today. It's kind of just made up. I'm just gonna throw things together. <laughs> I feel like you can't mess up spaghetti too much, but I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on how you make your spaghetti, and Michelle is bringing a homemade peach pie which I'm so excited about. And that then, sounds delicious. And then my brother Brett and his wife Maddie are coming over too. So it's gonna be super fun. So let's head in the kitchen and get cooking. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna make some spaghetti. I had most things on hand. I'm not making a totally homemade spaghetti sauce. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm gonna be using some Prego as my base, but one trick I always do just to jazz it up is I always add fresh veggies to my sauce. So I'm gonna saute some green and red bell pepper. I'm gonna add some garlic and one yellow onion. And then I feel like the trick to taking a store-bought spaghetti sauce and really making it taste homemade is adding a lot of fresh herbs. So I'm adding parsley, I got some fresh basil, so it's gonna be really, really yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get things chopped up and then I'll show you what I do next. I got my veggies chopped up. Now, since Jared's vegan, he is not gonna be having ground beef in his, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split up the onion because I still want the onion to be in the tomato sauce. Usually what I'll do is I'll saute the onion with my ground beef 
and then just add it to the tomato sauce. But this time, since he's vegan, I'm gonna do it separate. So I'm gonna kind of do it half and half. I'm gonna put some onion into the sauce itself and then some with the ground beef. Kind of make two different versions because both Jared and then my sister-in-law Maddie are both not eating meat. But I'm curious, you guys, comment down below, how do you usually make your spaghetti sauce? What veggies do you add to it? I'm also adding in some mushrooms as well. But typically, I would definitely, if I was making homemade spaghetti sauce, I would be using some tomato paste some diced tomatoes, but instead I'm just swapping that out as I mentioned with the Prego. I feel like this is an easy way. It already has a ton of seasonings in here. So this is kind of the fast way to make it, but I love adding my own veggies and spices and flavorings to it just to kind of dress it up a little bit and make it taste more homemade. garlic near the end so it wouldn't burn and now I'm gonna add in some baby portobello mushrooms which will be really yummy and we're putting in quite a few veggies especially because we have a few vegetarians in the house I have my ground beef cooking with onion and some garlic and salt and pepper after these mushrooms cook down I'm gonna go ahead and split this add some of it to the meat sauce and then I'll add the tomato sauce to both the veggie and the meat and then I'll get my veggies going. We got some garlic bread. I'm gonna prepare, I'm gonna put some cheese on it, toast it in the oven, and then I have a really easy, yummy salad I'm gonna throw together, and I'll show you that too. Oh, I think Finley wants some too. <laughs> oh, do you want some? Good. It smells good, huh, dude? Yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> now you guys may have noticed that I kept my veggies pretty big. I didn't mince them up. A lot of the time I'll even blend them just so I have a smooth spaghetti sauce. But this time we're going to go a little more chunky just so I have some substance. And I actually sometimes like it a little more chunky like that too. Bread. All right. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> How's that work? No. So we're gonna warm <laughs> this in the oven so it warms through, and then I'll pull it out, put some cheese on it, put it back in the oven for a few minutes till the cheese melts. <laughs> you guys ever put a little bit of water into your tomato sauce containers just to get? The rest of it out. Every last little drop. <laughs> Every last little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these simmer you guys. I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, a little oregano, you can use Italian seasoning, and then I'm gonna go ahead and we will put our salad. <laughs> So the salad cannot be any simpler. I've made this a couple times on the vlog already, but it is the copycat Olive Garden salad. So all I'm using is a bag of classic romaine lettuce mix. So it's like carrots, a little bit of cabbage in there. I'm just throwing that in there. So I have my lettuce mix, you guys. I have a little bit of onion. I would usually use red onion, but I don't have any, so I'm just using a tiny little bit of white onion and I mince that up. I have some cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to half throw those in there with some croutons. They actually sell the Olive Garden croutons at the grocery store. So I have some of those. And then of course, the delicious, I could drink this bottle, honestly, it's so good. The Olive Garden Signature Italian Dressing. Now, they do have a light version of this. We have tried that as well. It's okay. I personally like the light version. Jared liked it. <laughs> I still like the original better, so I'm gonna be using this. One thing, if you do like these, we really like the pepperoncini that kind of gives it that kick, that spice, like Olive Garden. We do put these on the side for people to throw in as well. And then just throw on some Parmesan cheese. That's it, easy peasy salad, and I feel like it's a crowd pleaser. Everyone loves it. I got some watermelon cut up in the fridge, and then we just gotta finish the bread, and then it's almost time to eat. Hey 
guys, we have a fun surprise. So we invited Maddie and Brett for dinner, but Nate and Michelle do not know. They're actually on the phone right now with one of Nate's family members and Brett and Maddie just snuck in behind them. So we're gonna surprise them. So it should be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go back in, but I just wanna let you guys know that's what's going on. Okay guys, so Brett and Maddie just surprised Nate and Michelle. It was seriously the coolest thing. They were not expecting it. They drove all the way up here to surprise them. Anyway, they were totally taken off guard. It was awesome. But now the food is all cooked up, ready to go. So we're gonna go eat that and then go play some games. Bye. 